add devices and add labels to those devices or group the devices under labels in the new console 2.0. Um, and there's a lot of different ways to do it. All very simple. All can be navigated to from the flows workspaces we're on right now. So I'm on flows. There's on the left hand side under nodes, just a devices option. And over here on the right hand side, this little plus button will be on any page you navigate to. So if you just hover over that, there's an add device uh, button right there. I'm just going to go from the left hand side for right now. So I click on devices. And you see for all devices, I don't have any added right now. So I want to add a couple. So this third button over is add new device. I click on that. I'm just going to name it S device one. Make sure you have your dev UI, app UI, and the app key. I haven't made any labels yet, so we're not going to mess with that right now. We will go to come to labels in just a second, but I just save device. You can see it shows up in my devices and you see that it's pending. One thing that's really important to note, the first time a device joins the network, its keys need to be added to the blockchain and that updated block needs to be propagated to the miners or the hotspots. So this can take up to 20 minutes. So if your device is being added, if you've added it for the first time on console 2.0 and it's taking a little bit, don't freak out. It can be up to 20 minutes depending on when this transaction gets added to the blockchain and just the overall performance of the blockchain. Good news is after this initial join, future rejoining of this same device will be much quicker. So you won't have that 20 minute wait each time, but the first time it could be up to 20 minutes. So just something to take note of. All right, I'm going to add a couple devices here. Very creative names. Um, okay. So we've got test devices one, two, and three. So if I navigate back to the flows page, up here under nodes, if I click the little plus button, go to devices, now you'll see test device one, two, and three, and you can drag these into your flows workspace and make sure to save and you have your devices out there. Simple. So if you have, say, a lot of devices, 100 devices, even more than that, you don't have to take the time to type each name and each um, app and dev UI and app key in. If you see over on the right hand side, there's an import devices option. You can import devices directly from the things network or in bulk via, C via CSV upload. So if you have, like I said, many devices and you just don't want to take that time to type everything in, this is the way to do it. So you can import or drag a CSV file. One important thing to note is this says you need to make sure you have that dev and app UI, the app key and the name for all of those devices and otherwise they won't. Um, they won't import over, they won't come over. But once you have either imported or dropped a CSV file in, if you go back to your all devices, all those devices would show up in this list. Okay, so we have these devices in flows here, but they're just kind of standalone. So if I wanna group, say, test device one and test device two under a label, like those are both water monitoring, for example, while test device three might be air quality, something like that, I can add a label to those. So if I go back to devices, up at the top here, there's the add device, and then there's add new label. So I'm gonna add a new label, let's say, water monitoring. Save that label right there. So it shows up up at the top. If I click on test device one, Go to add label right here. I can just choose a label that I've made. So I made water monitoring, it shows up right there. Add the label to that. Now, if I go back to devices, you can see test device one is under the label water monitoring. I'm gonna do the same thing for test device two. Add label, water monitoring. Okay, so if I go back to all devices, you can see both test device one and two are under water monitoring. So now if I go back to my flows workspace, I still have these out all three, but I know that I want to put test device one and two in a label. So if I just click on test device one and just remove that node, it's not deleting the device, it's just move, removing the node from the flows workspace. Same with test device two, save changes. Now I go back up to nodes at the top. 
And now you can see that I have the label water monitoring. So I can pull that down, save changes. And then so it shows that I have two devices under there. If I click on it, I have test device one and two both grouped under this label. So especially if you have a lot of different devices or like water monitoring, air quality, stuff like that, if they're doing different things, you can group them and clean up your flows workspace pretty nicely by using the labels. Other than that, that's a quick walkthrough of how to add devices and how to use labels on console 2.0. If you have any further questions, you can check out the Helium docs that are linked to this video and have fun using console. Thank you for being a network user.